Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Pause for Prayer. I wanted to talk today about strategies for intercessory prayer, strategies for praying for others. One of the things for me as a pastor is that people often send me prayer requests. Will you please pray for this person? Will you please remember to pray for me about this? And I take that very seriously. I feel like I want to make sure that I can continue to lift up all of those concerns before God that I remember and that I remember to follow up with the person that told me about the prayer request as well. And sometimes I got a little bit overwhelmed and I felt like I was going to forget somebody and I didn't want to do that. So I started to develop a few strategies to make sure that I am praying for everyone. It's nice to think that praying for everyone is just some kind of spiritual thing that happens on its own, but sometimes we have to be quite disciplined in the work of God, and that includes praying for others. I want to show you a tool that your staff created at the beginning of the coronavirus. It's a spreadsheet of our prayers and our pastoral connections. Take a look at this. It's quite impressive, I think. I've covered the name so you can't see. You can just see all those different fields. Every single week throughout the course of lockdown, we have been over that list and assigned each one of us the a way to connect with you all out there so that we can see if you're well and check in and ask how we can be praying for you. And every week at our meeting, we gather and pray through that list for all of you with all of the news. And you saw little colors on there that indicate that there's something in particular we want to draw our prayers to in a given week. And other blues and yellows and colors letting us know that we're looking for somebody that we haven't been able to contact or something good has happened and we want to pass the news along to each other as Jared, Jonathan, and I pray over this list. That's a pretty sophisticated tool, but for me personally, sometimes I just write a, a list in a notebook. I've known people who've had a prayer notebook that they add names to and eventually take them out of as people move on in their lives. I know folks that uh, keep a list on their nightstand, just a running piece of paper. I've opened up sometimes a... Um, a document or a note in my phone that I can keep lists of names on uh, for people I want to be praying about, or I use my digital calendar. If I know there's a particular event, uh, an operation or a difficult anniversary coming up in someone's life, I'll put a note in my calendar to flag up, to remember, to call them, and to be praying for them during that day. So sometimes the commitment to pray for somebody requires a little bit of organization and planning to execute. But all of that is part of the holiness and the glory of God. So let's pray together some intercessory prayers drawn from that sheet that I showed you on my computer, but without the names attached so we can keep confidentiality. Let's pray. Dear God, there are many people in our church who are dealing with aging family members who are potentially nearing the end of their lives and they are worried and they are far apart and separated by this virus. So we pray for them. We pray for co-workers and friends and family who are ill and recovering from coronavirus. We pray for those dealing with unrelated health issues. We pray for people who are lonely for people who are worried about keeping their job after furlough or have already been laid off. We pray for those who feel very alone during this time and are battling depression and difficulty. We pray for those without internet access that can't participate in all of these online opportunities. God, we pray for those out of work and uncertain about the future. All of these things, God, and the ones that we might have left off and forgotten, we remember before you and ask for your care. Amen. Keep praying, everybody. And maybe pray for us as your staff as well. We are always grateful. God bless.